$5 Games presents Far Lone Sales. The main gimmick in this game is that you are trying to travel as far as possible as fast as possible. Or, you know, you can enjoy the deserted post-apocalyptic landscape. Your choice. The entire story is done through environmental storytelling with music to cue in on what the protagonist is feeling, like the belief that there's aliens swarming him at night, or that he needs to hurry because a tornado is going to wreck him, or you know, that could be a visual cue as well, but anyways. To assist him in this quest, he's made a Ruby Goldberg steam machine to propel him forward. The conflict is that the on button that pushes the machine forward gets stuck when you push it in all the way, so you need to hit the brake button to not run into stuff. Or you can just run into all of it anyways. Also, you run out of fuel and need to refill your tank with boxes and barrels. I also found that the small boxes work. Potentially everything works. I'm unsure as I became a compulsive hoarder. What about that lamp? It was here when I got here. I need that mailbox for my new home. The ball and books are for when I get bored. All ten of them. Anyways, there's also a steam meter that builds up as long as you're consuming fuel. So you need to push a button to let out the steam. If you wait until the steam gauge is about to fill up, you get a speed boost. Unsure what happens when it fills up all the way, but I guess the machine explodes. Yes, you get a sail near the beginning. You can use the wind flag on the machine to know if the sail would be a benefit or a hindrance to your travels. So that's another thing to pay attention to. Also need to pay attention to ceilings. The sail is very, very tall. If you crash into something too fast or get struck by lightning, Things will light on fire, and you'll need to put it out with a hose. You know, another thing to pay attention to. Also, you're given a blowtorch to repair the damaged pieces, which is another thing to do. And also a vacuum for the back of the machine so that you don't have to hop out every single time you come across stuff on the ground. Still have to turn it on and off though. So that's what, 10 things to manage? Eh, I'm sure you'll be fine. You really will though, the game doesn't actually require intense multitasking or platforming skills. It's really a go at your own pace kind of game. I'm unsure what happens if your vehicle runs out of life or if you run out of fuel. Maybe there's a game over screen, but I suspect there isn't. Your character will only go so far away from the vehicle before hitting an invisible wall. I know this because I went past a fuel box once and had to wait for the vehicle to slowly roll backwards towards me. Just a little further. The music and environmental storytelling are the main reasons to play the game. For instance, I noticed during one of the puzzles that there's actually a picture of a child holding their parent's hand etched into the front of the machine. I'm unsure as to whether you're the parent or the child, but it does give you a bit of a heart wrench when you realize that you're actually alone on this journey. And yeah, there was that time at night when alien sounds started playing across the fantastic night sky, giving both a feeling of fear and wonder. Subscribe, I do five of these each week. Like and comment if you want. That's a wrap for this game. Consider picking the game up instead of a gallon of gas by carpooling instead.